SM Super Malls in the Philippines are under fire after uh, a shirt came about. That's a little controversial to say the least. Let's take a quick look at the shirt. It says, it's not rape, it's a snuggle with a struggle. So uh, one woman saw this online and she decided to post it on Facebook. The Facebook post went viral. And so uh, as a result, uh, the malls throughout the Philippines decided that they're going to get rid of the shirt because, of course, it's offensive. And of course, uh, those who uh, work for the malls say, look, we didn't know this was going on. We apologize. This is very, very offensive. We're going to figure out why this happened and how this happened. And we're going to get to the bottom of this. But at the same time, I mean, people are understandably outraged because this kind Kind of makes light of a really, really serious problem, which yeah. is rape. Rape is not a snuggle with a struggle. Rape is something where a person is being forced to have sex or any type of sexual activity against his or her will. Yeah. I can't even believe that a shirt like this was created. Yeah. The, the only thing I can come up with like that would be a good reason to create this is that then people can go out and buy them and then that saves us the trouble of trying to figure out who the insane douchebags are in society. We could just say, oh, he's wearing that shirt, that's an asshole. That would simplify the process a little bit. So that lean tone model there, when he was modeling that shirt, he must have been like, are you fucking kidding me? I have to wear this thing? Why would anyone want to be affiliated with that? The store should be boycotted as a result of that. The manufacturer should have major problems like the person who actually designed it. I don't understand why you would feel the need to make light of rape just to be edgy. It's just really strange to me because I feel as though rape has been such a really, it's been, I don't even know how to word this. I mean, since the last election, the issue of rape has been in the headlines nonstop. Constant, yeah. It's constant, right? And to be honest with you, like I'm getting tired of reporting on it because the more we report on it, the more you see like this argument not necessarily in favor of rape, but this argument kind of justifying it in cases mm. where it's not justified. It's not yeah. justified in any case, don't get me wrong. But you'll have like a very clear story where obviously someone was assaulted in some way and people will be like, well, was she dressed a certain way? Did she ask for it? Maybe there was consent. And I feel like a lot of people for some reason go immediately toward being skeptical toward yeah. the person who said that he or she was raped. Yeah. And I don't know, I have a really big issue with that. Yeah, yeah, and I think that the, there are examples of that that are high profile names like Rush Limbaugh talking about, you know, sometimes no actually means yes in the right context and things like that. But then you have uh, the, the people on the internet that, like when a case will come up of a woman who's, who's been raped or, or a girl at college who's been raped, we see that as a, a tragedy, a story for that person. But they don't just see it as that, they see it as one move on this chessboard of like the battle against feminism and they don't want to lose their pawn. Even if it makes them look ridiculous to argue in that case, they see it as one battle amongst a larger war. And I think that that's who the shirt is targeting. at. But here's the thing that's so crazy to me. Rape is not something that impacts women and women only. Men get raped. They get mm -hmm. raped at, at, you know, if you really look at the complete number of rape victims in the country, men are actually bigger victims of rape than women are when you consider the military and when you also consider mm -hmm. prison, yeah. right? And so if you make light of such a serious issue because you're against feminism, if that's the reason why you do it, I mean, you're actually doing a disservice to everyone in the country because rape is not something that impacts one particular gender. It impacts a lot of people. And so you should never mm -hmm. pretend as though this is something that you should make fun of or, or you know, make light of. It's a serious problem that should be addressed in a serious way, not a stupid shirt that makes a joke out of a serious problem.